Phipps. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> um, I appreciate everyone who worked last night to overcome the electrical fire that we had yesterday in our, our data room here. Um, from Aaron's team and our entire ITS uh, folks, who some of them were here until around 2 30 this morning, restoring everything to the fire department. Robin's team with engineering, as well as Chad and, and or with Public Works and Chad and his team with engineering. Um, there was a collective effort throughout the building to get everyone out of here. Um, our court staff on the other side of the building was extremely patient. The judges worked around what we needed to there. Um, to update you all, we have narrowed it down to our very simplest version of a transfer switch with the generator that went out. Um, those switches, as you know, are very hard to locate. They are not things that are that are stocked. They are something that post COVID we still have some supply chain issues with. Uh, but Coward Electric has worked very hard on our behalf the last 24 hours. We think that we have one identified that will possibly be here on Friday for a weekend install. Um, but prior to that, Aaron and his team, along with Coward and, and Electric, have us in a stable environment. So we're we're okay right now. Everything is up and running, but we look forward to a permanent solution. So. Thank you, Aaron, and everyone else who um, worked to, to make that happen. On Thursday, we will be hosting Leadership Lounge um, here in this building at 1.30, so if any of you would like to come in, we'll be in this room to talk about local government on Thursday. And then also on the on August the 19th, um, next week, there will be a 2 o'clock ribbon cutting at the Love's Travel Stop that you all just approved for your line license for. Um, also on the 19th, Chairman Slaughter will be so, will be sworn into the Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities State Board at the Capitol at 3 p.m. So congratulations, Chairman Slaughter. We're so grateful for your leadership at the state level. Um, this is a board that, as a behavioral health initiative, um, they do follow some of the mental health challenges that we have. So we're looking forward to having a voice at a much greater level um, to take care of our citizens here with what we know what we're dealing with there. Um, also, on August the 24th, Quola um, is having a 5K to uh, raise money for their soup kitchen. So you all know when the, the soup kitchen that was operated by the private board uh, closed down last December at the Leela Ellis um, location, and then Quola took over, and they're doing a fantastic job. Not only are they feeding people, but they're also getting them jobs, and they're getting them housing, and, and Ms. Erica Miller there and her team have done a phenomenal job. So if any of you are interested in participating in the 5K, you can have a ghost runner. So if you don't want to run or walk 5K, uh, you can register there and they have someone who will do that on your behalf. So if you're interested, please let me know. Um, also this past Sunday, um, we met the Humane Society and the ASPCA at the animal shelter um, around nine o'clock and they transported 14 of Lowndes County's animals to a shelter in Kentucky. Um, this happened um, through a partnership between uh, Lowndes County Animal Shelter as well as the Humane Society and there was there was agreement involved. But I was very proud of our team and how they worked through that process. We're grateful for our partnerships with the Humane Society and certainly this was a, a 14 uh, transport live outcome for our shelter so that's very positive as well. And the last thing I have on my report is um, I'd like for Ashley to come up and give you guys kind of an update on how we fared with, with Hurricane Tropical Storm Debbie. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. 